Hey, it's Inve here with an interview regarding the keyboard and mouse controls in Armored Core 6 from someone who was at the event and was able to play it on keyboard and mouse. Before we get started, please subscribe. Now that we've got that out of the way, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, thank you Inve for having me. This is Nos, I'm a journalist from a Spanish website called Tres de Juegos and I'm fortunate enough to be featured in your channel. That's something I never dreamed of. <laughs> I think you might be overselling <laughs> me a little bit there, but uh, <laughs> I'll of course have links to all of his socials down below. Now let's get into the interview questions. First one, uh, just, you know, right off the bat in general, how did keyboard and mouse feel when you got to try it? Okay, so the thing with mouse and keyboard is I felt them very natural, these controls, you know. Um, this is abnormal because, you know, uh, from software games are not usually that natural, you know, because they are usually built for controller. They're designed with controller in mind. So this is something I didn't expect. The, yeah, I feel great about them. The only thing I don't really like is that uh, your shoulder weapons are bound to Q and E by defect. I uh, bit by default, sorry. So it's something that you know, you have to lift your fingers in order to press those keys. And that's not something you always want. Because, uh, sometimes you want to shoot multiple weapons at the same time. So maybe uh, when, the game, when the game comes out, you have to rebound them to maybe the mouse buttons. If you have one of these gaming mice that has buttons in the in one of the sides. Yeah, that's yeah, something like I I'm, think. Uh... Definitely gonna have to put them on my game of mouse buttons then for sure. Yes, exactly my point as well. But other than that, I think uh, they are very smart uh, designed and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm happy about them. That is really cool to hear. I'm glad to hear that we're not gonna have a Dark Souls One situation where we're gonna need some third-party monitor to come in and fix it. Um, yeah. That does bring me to my next question. Um, were you able to play with manual aim from the OS tuning menu? Oh, no, I didn't. That's because uh, manual aim is something you, you get from the arena. I mean, by playing the arena, you earn some currency that you can later spend in in the shop to buy some OS expansions, right? And mm -hmm. manual aim is one of those expansions. And as far as I know, no one unlocked that one because we were limited on time, you know? And some people maybe bought the... Um, I don't know, maybe have standard weapons for the shoulder web, uh, shoulder uh, slots, you know? But other than that, I simply don't know anyone who has tried that yet. <laughs> oh, well, but it's definitely there. But, yeah. Oh, well. Um, one question I had about the camera movement is, are you able to, like, flick your mouse like you would in, like, a first-person shooter game? Or is it, like, limited to, well, like, Gundam Battle Operation? Uh... I think if I am understanding your question correctly, yes, you can flick, but uh, it simply toggles it. You know, the hard lock on goes between, it's cycling between uh, enemies that are close to you, you know? So if you mm -hmm. flick your mouse, maybe it's gonna target a different uh, enemy and, and stuff like that. But you know, it's pretty much the, the standard uh, armor core camera. It behaves like that. So unless you specifically uh, fix an objective. Other than that, it, it's gonna be very natural to the armor quite series, yeah. Got it. But I mean, like, um, is the turn speed of the camera limited um, from your oh, mouse movement uh, at all? Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't understand that at first. Yeah, no problem. it's. Uh, I don't. I think you can you can flick and you can aim at your back in in an instance. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure because I think. Uh, you know, I was trying both controller and mouse and keyboard, so I didn't get to play the entire thing on mouse and keyboard. I, I thought the the process of uh, controller was slightly better, but you know, only slightly. And maybe uh, you know, the, the thing is is that I didn't get to to probably do some sick flicks or anything. But yeah, you can you can definitely flick, yeah. Okay, well, that's definitely interesting to hear. I was uh, wondering if maybe the game would be like Gundam Battle Operation, but it doesn't sound like that's the case. No, um, not at all. You mentioned that um, the lock-on feels uh, interesting with the keyboard and mouse. So um, you said that when you move your mouse, it basically just changes the 
priority target yes. for the lock, right? Yeah, that's exactly my point. So um, the, uh, as you are moving around your mouse, uh, the camera by default uh, targets the closest enemy to you, if the, the enemy is in range, of course. Uh, but you can also uh, fix that enemy by with uh, the middle mouse button of your mouse. And that enemy, you know, that's that the cam and the Dark Souls uh, lock on that everyone hates. Okay. Um, you said that it felt a little bit better on controller. Is that just because like the analog movement, or did you feel like um, what what did you feel felt better? Yeah, it's uh, the thing that I mentioned earlier that the shoulder weapons are bound uh, by default to Q and E, and it wasn't you know I didn't have much time, so I didn't want to go to the process of re uh, remapping them to the mouse buttons. So instead, I played on controller, which are bound by default to, you know, RB, RL, uh, sorry, RB, RT, LB, and LT. So that's that's what I thought it was more, more you know, it felt better on controller because of that. But, you know, I'm pretty confident that the when, com when com the game comes out, you can just remap them to the side uh, mouse buttons, and it's going to be even better than that. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome to hear that most of the issues are just with the key bindings. Um, yes, exactly. One thing to move on from, uh, I did want to ask that since all those, or since the preview was played on PC hardware, did you notice any issues with the PC port while you were playing? Well, yes, I noticed some stutter, but I think that's because uh, we were playing on on a 60 hertz display and it was uh, it had vsync enabled by default so you know games that have vsync tend to lag a little bit so i think mm -hmm. that's why it, it started just a tiny bit but other than that i didn't find any sort of bugs uh you probably already seen the uh, graphical options you have the settings and, and stuff like that and i think it's gonna be a, a good port so far uh, you know, the one thing I'm not entirely sure about is because uh, the game is going to feature up to 120 FPS, you know, which is, a, which is great, but I'm not entirely sure if it's going to uh, work out as expected. But the reason because I'm not entirely sold on that is because some games uh, simply don't want to go beyond a certain frame rate. So, for instance, I play a lot of Destiny 2 and <laughs> Destiny 2 works great. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You don't have to say anything. I know, you know. But in that game, when it goes above 120 FPS, it just doesn't go, doesn't want to go any further, and it's not very uh, stable. So I'm not entirely sure whether Armor Core 6 is gonna be stable at uh, 120, because I only got to play at 60, and I've, as far as I know, everyone we played, everyone that played the game, has. Uh, a 20, uh, sorry, a 60 hertz monitor. But other than that, you know, it's probably going to work great. Yeah, well, that is very promising to hear. I, I am also a mm. long-time Destiny player and very, uh, very uh, acutely aware of those high frame rate issues <laughs> that, that game has. We yes. love our Cabal. Oh, we love our Cabal, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, but with all that stuff in mind, are you still planning to get the game on PC? I know I am. Yes, definitely. I have pre-ordered the premium edition. Uh, you know, it's gonna gonna cost a lot, but it's uh, <laughs> I'm just very hyped about it, about it. And yeah, definitely, it's on PC. So I don't think there's a reason for not playing it on PC if you have a gaming PC. You know. Yeah, I mean that is. I agree. Um, mm. Just for reference, which one is the premium edition? Is that the one with the garage or without the garage? I got the one without the garage. Yeah, it's the one with the garage, and oh. I don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna regret it or not because it's very expensive. But you know, I just wanted that game so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I I do wish I had ordered that garage a little bit. Uh, it sure looks cool, but. I think that pretty much wraps up all the questions that I had today about the uh, about the new systems that they introduced. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, now that we're at the end here, is there anything you would like to plug in particular? 
Uh, thank you very much, Inve. And nope, I just think the game feels great, and everyone has the absolute right to be very hyped about the game, just as as much as I am, and we are. Yeah, super awesome to hear. Um, yeah, thanks mm -hmm. again for coming on. Thank you, Inve, and thank you everyone for watching.